Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the next episode of, I don't know if I'm doing these in like a linear or chronological order. So let's just say this is an episode of Podmus and I'm here with Rachel Oates. Hello, mate. Hi. I am also here with a very grumbly little piglet. So sorry oh if you can hear her. God, that was really loud. That was proper <laughs> <Sorry>. like, ah. Uh. <laughs> She just she just wants some attention. She wants to play. She's not happy with me working right now, are you? No. <laughs> but we're going to try and get through this before she eats me alive. That was like, um, on TikTok, I've been getting loads of clips of the Osborne show. You remember when the Osbournes had a show? like uh, oh, The Osbournes, like Sharon Aussie. and Ozzy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been getting loads of clips of that. And like most of it is just Ozzy Osbourne walking around, not knowing what's going on and just making like Ozzy Osbourne noises. Like, oh, Sharon. <laughs> oh, bless. I saw a picture that him and Sharon Osbourne dressed up as Justin and Hayley Bieber for Halloween this year. And all the comments were just like, does Ozzy even know what he's dressed as? <laughs> oh, probably not. <laughs> Wait, no, was it that or was it Kanye and the girlfriend? It was one or the other. Quite you know, different, Kanye and his new <laughs> girlfriend slash wife, or Sharon and Ozzy Osbourne. They are quite different no, groups no. of people. I'm definitely Sharon and Ozzy Osbourne, but I don't know if they dressed up as Justin and Hayley Bieber oh. or Kanye and the girlfriend. I thought you were mistaken Kanye for Ozzy then. And I was like, how'd you, how'd you do that? One's like the Prince of Darkness and one is getting into trouble every other week. <laughs> Yeah. No, it was definitely Sheridan and Ozzy. I know that much. I just can't remember which celebrity couple they were, but whichever one it was, I was like, Ozzy is not going to have a clue what's going on. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. i got something fun for us to do today. Mm-hmm. I have been resistant against using AI in terms of content for ages. I've got this little group chat mm-hmm. and the guys are always being like, just ask AI what's doing. I'm like, no, <laughs> you're idiots. And I bet they're not even nice when they're mm-hmm. asking AI to do things either, right? But- I bet they don't say please. I was saying, please. So basically, yeah. I, I asked AI, can you give me like some fun podcast like things and topics? Mm. And it actually came up with a few good ideas. I was saying, Aww. please, and thank you and all of that. I bet they don't. I bet they're rude. And when I the know. robots uprise, they'll be the first to go. Yeah. I, I always say like, please and thank you to Siri and stuff like that. It's yep. great. It's important. I had a really nearly bad Siri experience earlier today. What happened? So, you know, I talked to Kyra just like normally as you do of course um so I was having a bath earlier don't know why that's relevant but I was having a bath with, I just I think the setting makes this even more You're setting setting the scene yeah, yeah yeah so I'm in the bath and I have my iPad and I'm watching Emmerdale <laughs> it's just as you do again. of course of course of course and I'm watching this episode from like back in June where Caleb gets pushed off a cliff and he falls and he smashes his head and he's like lying unconscious on the ground and he's like broken his legs hurt his back and he wakes up and he's trying to reach for his phone and he can't reach because he's injured and he's like all stuck there and I turn around to Cairo and see this is why he should have an apple phone if he had one he could just say I'm gonna hope this doesn't happen again he could just say hey call an ambulance (sighs) stopped it that time nearly didn't while I was in the bath and my Siri started doing the whole like calling thing. And I had to be like, no, 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 no. I was like, I'm going to get in so much trouble for like wasting ambulance time. Like, how do I explain how this happened? It... Do you know what would have happened? You would have ended up on one of those like shows where they show people wasting police and ambulance and nine like emergency services time. Oh, no. You would have ended up on one of those shows. I had visions of them like coming around to check on me and me still being in the bath and being like, I'm sorry, I was just watching Emmerdale. Just trying to relax. Had a stressful day. I'm just taking a bath. <laughs> like I was just telling my dog what she should do in an emergency situation. That's a very normal thing oh, to chat to yeah. your dog about. <laughs> They've got so. to be aware. Exactly. So if I'm ever in any trouble, she can just say, hey, Siri fill in the blank I'm not saying it again <laughs> so what I've got the content yeah. that AI have told me to do is what if discuss hypothetical mm-hmm. scenarios and explore mm-hmm. the possibilities interesting so what if you're in the bath and accidentally called an ambulance yeah what do you do then <laughs> what would you do in that situation uh, ooh, hmm. Hmm. I don't know what like 
side of me would come out, you know, because sometimes sometimes there's like the really assertive, like confrontational, like yeah, da 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 side where yeah, I don't care. Like rather almost, dare I say, American. Um, but then like sometimes the bumbling English buffoon comes out instead, you know? So I don't know, out of sheer awkwardness, maybe I would just like let the ambulance people come and let them take me out the bath. And I'd be like, oh yes, thank you. Um, I'd hurt my leg and I couldn't get out. Maybe I would just go along with it. Kind of like, kind of like, have you seen um the crazy dog? God, I'm so sorry. You know, you know she's not normally this vocal. Yeah, no, she's 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 been proper loud today. <laughs> sorry. So you would let them lift you out the bath? Well, you know, like that episode of um, have you seen the IT crowd? Mm-hmm. <gasps> where he's disabled. The work outing where he accidentally pulls the he go he uses the disabled toilets, he pulls the uh, the 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 help switch, and then he just decides to, and he ends up on the on the bus back to Manchester. Yeah, I I feel like I feel like it would either be I'd be like, oh, it's just an accident, ha ha, loud, or yeah. I'd be like, yes, thank you for helping me. I'm okay now. You can go. I don't know. It would, and there's no new, there's no neutral ground. There's no neutral zone. It's either one or the other. It's an extreme. It, yeah, I'm I'm just so glad it didn't connect. I d- oh. I I feel like I'd just be embarrassed in that situation. And especially because like you can't move because they'll hear you splashing around in the bath. And that's just Oh, I'm very embarrassed. Anyway, let's move on from this. Tell me some of your what ifs. Okay. These are all AI generated. Mm-hmm. I just took out the ones that I thought were a bit dead. But okay. this is all AI. I ain't come up with this. So right. here's some scenarios for us to ponder. Mm-hmm. What if you could live in any fictional world, would you choose to live in the magical world of Harry Potter, the mm-hmm. post-apocalyptic wasteland of Mad Max, or somewhere else entirely? I'm going to hedge a bet and say most people aren't going to want to live in a wasteland. <laughs> but what if? Like, where mm. would you go? Um, I probably wouldn't go Harry Potter. Um, just because it probably feels a bit like they're probably a bit elitist there. Like, mm-hmm. look how they all, like, fawn over Harry just because he's got a bit of money. Like, Hogwarts seems like a private school. Like, it seems like... Well, they fawn like, over mm-hmm. Harry because he defeated mm-hmm. Voldemort. Well, yeah, but he also <laughs> buys him a bunch of sweets, and it's like, you know. I like to think that had the most influence. <laughs> um, See, I love the idea of maybe living in the Shire from Lord of the Rings. Oh. But, um, yeah, but only if it's, like... You know, in a in a quiet period, <laughs> like Sauron isn't destroying everything. It hasn't just been destroyed by the ring wraiths, you know, all of that. During the Hobbit. The only thing that happened during yeah, the Hobbit was Bill yeah. Baggins was off doing yeah, his business. That's true. Yeah. So that that would be quite nice. Hmm. Um yeah, I think that would be a lovely place to live. But then I don't know, maybe also a little bit quiet. So hmm. That's my vote for now. How about you? I haven't given this any thought at all, even though, you know, <laughs> I, I was editing through this list. You I have not given day this, to plan. <laughs> I've not given this a single thought at all. Where would I go if I could live in any fictional world? Because um, a lot of the fiction I read is just like, or, like not awful was in bad, but awful was in, mm. oh, this is depressing and rubbish. So, <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess, like, you know, in, uh, what's it called? In, in the Aragon books. Did you ever read those? No, I've never read them. Ah, uh, well, there's Sorry. this land called Alagasia. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, it's a made, it's literally a made up word. I'll pronounce it how I <laughs> want. Alagasia. But, like, living there would only be good if you were a dragon rider because you get to, like, mentally bond with your dragon and then yeah. you talk to each other and that type of thing. So it would literally only be good if you were an elf or a dragon rider because like yeah. the human world is messed up i feel like in a lot of fantasy it's better to be an elf than anything else yeah i can see that especially in lord of the rings they're pretty cool in that do you know what i've been reading yeah. uh not reading do you know what i've been playing <laughs> gone Baldur's gate i've been playing that right it's like yeah. uh Baldur's gate free it's kind of i guess it is 
a video game version of Dungeons and Dragons. Mm -hmm. It's a horrible world to live in. It's kind of like The Witcher. Like yeah. the witcher's only good if you are a witcher, because like otherwise, when you talk to the peasants, they're all like, "Oh, <laughs> life is hard, and I have taxes, and I'm gonna be killed by this hag in the woods." You know, yeah. like all fancy as shit, yeah. unless you are like a superior <laughs> something. Well, I, I quite like Neverwinter, which is like the Dungeons and Dragons sort of like MMORPG. I'm sorry, it's really really fun. I love it. But again, like every time you like go somewhere, you're like, oh, this is really pretty. And then you get a bit further and it's like, we're overrun by goblins. There's a dragon around the corner. And it's just like <laughs> someone else you have to fight. And you look at it and it could be like a really pretty village. And then you're like, oh, no, actually, there's a corpse. And there's a corpse. And there's a corpse. And it just, yeah, it probably wouldn't be that nice to live in. Sure, yeah. it would be nice, actually. Mm. Um, Far Fantasy 15, have you played that one? No. Sorry. It's good. It's good. Yeah. It's very um the the map is huge. It's very pretty, but there is a bit where I don't know, I think the prince falls asleep for 10 years and then the world is in complete darkness for 10 years. So that part wouldn't be oh. good where it's overrun by monsters. But yeah. after that, yeah. you know, they have like a car that can fly. So yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty and cool. chocobos. So I don't um, know what they are, but it has chocolate in the name and that sounds good. <laughs> no, they're like they're like giant oh. chickens. Aww. But like no, but they're, they're, they're really cute, but they're massive oh, okay. and you can ride them. It's Aww. a whole thing in all the Final Fantasy games that you can That's ride these cute. chocobo cute creatures. So probably, I don't know, probably a fantasy land, but only if I am like an elf <laughs> hybrid. Yeah, that's fair. I feel like, so there's a risk if you say somewhere that has like, um, that is like our world, but you know like with a magical element so like if i said like oh i'd love to live in like the percy jackson uni universe mm. there's a huge chance there that i'm just gonna end up a regular human in the same life as i am now mm. so is it worth it if one of my parents isn't a god that's a funny way of looking at it because i have such main character syndrome that if i was in harry potter i would be harriet potter do you know what i mean <laughs> i'd be like the long lost sister that like voldemort didn't know was knocking about <laughs> Quite Whereas clearly, like, if I was in Harry Potter, I'd just be like a muggle still living <laughs> in Peniston. <laughs> but yeah, I, I worry that I would just be like stuck in the background. Oh, oh, no, see again. I was going to say, like, what about the world of like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? But knowing me, I'd end up like an Oompa Loompa. Or one, one of the millions of kids that just got a regular chocolate bar and didn't have a golden <laughs> yeah. ticket. See, but see, if I, I was that could in. Be even worse. <laughs> If I was in China and Chocolate Factory, I'd be Willy Wonka. But I would be the Gene the Gene Wilder version where you don't know if he's just gonna let, let them kids die. So basically you would be a child murderer. Or uh, 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 a chocolate uh, 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 maker. Uh, uh. He don't, but he doesn't directly do it. They die because of their own hubris. True, true. Um Wait, do they do they die at the end of the film? Do we see what no. happens to them? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, because like I mean, in in the in the books, they all come out of the factory, but they're a bit, you yeah. know, like Violet is still purple, mm. and uh, Mike TV has been stretched, so now he's like super tall and thin. Like, yeah. but do we actually see any of them at the end of the film? No, you just see um, them fly around in that little uh, lift. So they could be dead. You know, they were annoying though, so maybe Jim, yeah. Gene Wilder was on something. Which would be the worst way to die from Charlie the Chocolate Factory? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, Chocolate there's... River. Oh, no, no, because he doesn't drown in the Chocolate River. He gets sent to the fudge room mm -hmm. where he's going to get, I guess, boiled. That wouldn't be nice. Uh, blown up like a blueberry. Well, she doesn't die. Veruca. Mm, Veruca falls mm. into the thing and almost gets incinerated. Yeah. Uh, so either she's a bad egg or a bad nut, because it's like squirrels or geese, but either way, incinerator. And Mike TV just gets stretched, so he gets a bit taller. Well, he gets shrunk, and then he's stre stretched to undo the shrinking. But I think I'd just like to stay shrunk, you know? Think I'm about not it, sure right? about that. Oh, no, it's great. If you're tiny, save on heating bills. Because, like, one blanket is going to keep you toasty as hell. <laughs> Save on food bills. Because all you need is, like, a bite of a grape. And that's it. That's, like, your daily allowance of vitamins and minerals and calories. 
probably. <laughs> um, same on clothes. You just need teeny tiny versions. You could probably wear like Barbie clothes and she has some great clothes. Um, and if you're really lazy, you just get someone to carry you around all day. So to bring it back to the what if, <laughs> if you could live in any fictional world, you would live in the world where you're Mike TV and you're shrunk, but you stay shrunk. So maybe I'd just be a borrower. I, I live in the world of Perfect. the borrowers. Yeah. Oh no, that's such a good shout because like, yeah, food just lasts and lasts and lasts. Yeah, yeah perfect. I think it would be so fun. I knew like, like I have a habit of like collecting little things that no one else needs. So like if I was a borrower, stealing like thimbles and turning it into a table, amazing. I'd love it. And you I'd could be, be friends borrower. with like the mice and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, okay. I used to read the borrower so much as a kid. But again, what if you were in the world of the borrowers and you were just like a regular kid? You could be friends with them, I guess. But only I mean, if you find out. I mean, because yeah. it's Tom Tom Felton's in it, isn't he? In the movie, the the little boy borrower is Tom Felton from Harry Potter, Draco Malfoy. Wait, is this a new film? No, that's the old one. Wait, Borrowers. which which film version? Is the the one I'm thinking of has um, who's the guy who played Bilbo Baggins? He's the dad in the version I know. It's not the 1997 one, yeah. Well, I'm from the 90s. Oh, I don't know this version. But have you never who seen are, this version? Who are these people? <laughs> these are the borrowers. Wait, Ruby Wax is in it. I don't know who that is, but sure. <gasps> it was a TV series. Oh. I always saw it as like films. Maybe it was like, you know, the condensed episodes. Mm. That sort of thing. Uh, oh, no, wait, no, this is the 50s. So that is not what I've seen. Oh my god, I have no idea what I've watched. Wait, adaptations. <gasps> there we go. No, it was. Okay, a 1992 BBC TV series with a sequel, Return of the Borrowers, starring Ian Holm and Penelope Wilton. Ian Holm as Pod was great. Ian Holm. Oh, Bill yes. yes, that bloke. I liked that yeah. bit in, in Lords of the Rings where... <laughs> You know, in Fellowship of the Ring, where Bilbo he sees the ring again, and then he goes like, "It's all like <laughs> that." Makes me. Good. I think of that sometimes. It makes me laugh. It's just, what a what a what a decision of the director. <laughs> hey, it sticks in your head. It was a good choice. <laughs> okay, so you would be a borrower. Yeah, yeah, I'd like that if I can pick my species as well. Sure. <laughs> okay. What if you could have any superpower? Would you choose to fly, become invisible, have super strength, world your oyster? Oh, no, I already know this. This is what I've wanted ever since I was a small child. Um, I'd want the ability to pause and unpause time. Oh, like that bloke with the watch? Bernard's watch, yeah. Bernard's watch. I get all my aspirations in life from children's TV. <laughs> no, but he lost it once. And that episode gave me so much anxiety because I thought, oh my God, he's going to be lost. He's going to die. It, but like, Oh God, wait, he I, lost just... it while it was paused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had to read, it was a whole episode about how it's important to retrace your steps and mm-hmm. stuff. And I thought, okay, God. So, mm. like, like if I time feel has... anxious just hearing this. Well, there's two possibilities here. Either like time has, does time just stop completely or does mm. it just stop for him and he's almost in like this quantum kind of space mm. where time has stopped for him, but like in real life, it's 0.01 second. So I read a book when I was a kid called Wizard. It had like five Zs. It was great. And it was about this guy who made this potion. And he was was just like a kid. But he made the potion wrong. And when he drank it, he thought he's like stopped time and everyone around him had stopped. But it turns out he was just moving really, really, really quickly. And Mm. time was still passing. He was just zooming around. So he went and like took a nap or something. And when he woke up, everyone had moved slightly. And that's how he realized that he was actually just going really fast. Hence the name, Wizard. Because <laughs> with like with Bernard's watch and that particular episode, it's like okay, right. So if he never finds that watch, like he just dies, right? He he'll just grow old in 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 this timeless place, and then he will just die, right? But then does that mean that time is stopped for everyone and everyone's doomed, or does it mean he oh. just disappears and is never seen again? You know, but he did find it in the end, so it's fine. This was a child's TV show. It wasn't (laughs) actually a lot of child's TV was quite dark, so they could have gone that way. But But it worried me, right? 
if time can only start again once he's dead, is it more ethical for him to kill himself immediately so everyone else can carry on with their lives? Or should he just live out his life until he dies of old age? Oh, and live out his life. Because for those people, you, time could have stopped right now and I wouldn't have known. True. But, so like they would have known any better. Oh yeah, because like the world stopped as well, didn't it? Yeah. Like water splashed and stuff. Oh, but... If water stopped, then how can he eat and drink? Because he would just die after a few days then, wouldn't he? Yeah, he's got like three days, he's screwed. Like, there's a Stephen King okay. short story. Um, I've totally forgotten about what like <laughs> what it's called, but it's these people on this plane and they kind of accidentally enter like a rift in this mm -hmm. dimension where they go to a timeless place and there are these tiny little... Um, and they're trying to work out like how they get back because they accessed it through the plane accidentally. And... Mm. There are these tiny little monsters that are like literally like eating reality. So like the book here, Tyson Fu Tyson Fury <laughs> wrote a book. I've not written a book, but Tyson Fury has written a book. It's embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Um, like there are these tiny little monsters that would like eat this book because they're eating time as it's going by. You know what I mean? Yeah. So then they have to escape before these like time monsters eat them and like mm -hmm. it eats one of the people. Oh. That would be scary. Yeah, yeah, it would. <laughs> They have to go back through the rift mm -hmm. on the plane. Yeah. So they had to get yeah. the plane working. And yeah. Yeah, but like liquid and stuff wasn't moving. Like, like, like they tried to open oh. a can of they tried to open a can of drink and like food didn't taste really of anything because you're trapped yeah. in like in a timeless kind of oh, that's you know. Weird. Yeah. That's weird. Oh my god. So are you are you sure yeah. you would stop time? Yeah, because I'd have the power. It's not like I could lose okay. my power, right? I hope. Well, you, well, well maybe. If you maybe didn't say caveat. losing powers was part of the deal. That's like saying, oh, I wish I could fly, but what if you lose your power mid-flight? Okay, but... <laughs> yeah, that, that yeah. does suck. <laughs> what would you be doing with the time stoppage? Oh, but, like, think, think about it, like... Well, okay, here's the other question. Am I aging during the time stopping? That's what I was going to bring up because like, yeah. if you're stopping time for days at a time mm. to read, like yeah. next time I see you, you've aged by five years. I'm like, well, I'm like all the wrinkles. So I always <laughs> wanted it when I was a kid so I could stop getting in trouble for being late for school. <laughs> that was what I wanted. I felt like all my problems would be solved if I could just stop getting in trouble for being late for school. <laughs> Makes um, sense, yeah. Yeah, now I don't really have that issue. But if the, there's no aging thing, think about all the things you can do. You can like stop time, have a nap, start time again, and you're like super productive every day. Yeah. You could like stop time, read a book, start it again. And then like, so like if you said to me now, oh, you read such and such, I'm like, no, stop time, read it, come back. Actually, let's have a conversation about it. How Kyra disagrees. What would your superpower be? Balls on command, yeah. Just like you balk and then like balls fall from the air. Tennis balls, bouncy balls, plastic balls, yeah. I think we've got our answer. <laughs> ah, but stop time or talk to animals. I mean, I kind of already can, so. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Do you know what? The stopping time one would be quite nice because right now I'm so, so like, stressed out with my life because I don't know how I'm meant to do everything, everything. Yeah, yeah it's just yeah it's you course. know well like I will just say on one hand I have chosen to go down a more creative route of having jobs and stuff and the stuff that I do outside of YouTube uh that I'm trying to do and stuff but at the moment it's like I don't I don't know where I'm meant to have the time to revise for my philosophy exams that I have to book for next year I I don't know where I have the time so that is quite appealing, actually. See, you could get so much done in the day. Yeah, no, I just, I feel like having more hours in the day would be great. Yeah. Or, like, if you could even, like, speed yourself up and down, that would be really fun. Like, if I needed to walk to the shop, but I didn't want to speak to anyone, I could just, you know, zoom over there, like, at super speed. And then, like, do my shopping, zoom back. You've taken, like, five minutes out of your day instead of 20. I'm just thinking all the YouTube videos that I could do. Mm -hmm. Like if, if I could just stop time indefinitely, I yeah. could do so many videos. 
imagine something like really really interesting happens you're like oh I want to make a video about this but I, I want it to be like in depth so you pause time spend like 20 hours writing a really good script unpause time and the events only just happen so you get your video out straight away and I'm the first one to do it yeah oh be great wouldn't it see I wanted to go with flying because what well, I'm scared <laughs> of I'm, I'm scared of I have a phobia of being on planes, so it would make life a lot easier if I could just if I could just fly to a different yeah, country. I wouldn't I be stuck in England. I think it would be way more terrifying to fly yourself than to be on a plane. Because think about like all the bugs in your face and everything. Just wear like a face shield. But then you have to clean yeah. the bugs off your face shield every day. Get little window wipers on it. it might be cold. What if you like fly through a cloud? You're all soggy and wet. Am I ruining flight for you yet? <laughs> Maybe flight, but it would have to have us. It had to come with some caveats, right? Like Why you would not have just to your... like teleportation. Because what if? So how is the teleportation working? Am I? Am I literally like? Are my atoms like? unassembling and then reassembling somewhat somewhere mm -hmm. else because what if that's not even me anymore and that's just yeah. the clone or the copy of me that thinks it's me and I've actually died I feel yeah. like Shipper I feel like Theseus right um is that the one that's the one where um it's like boat... replacing yeah yeah so well, like kind of falling on from that if you are like an absolute clone made from new atoms but arranged in entirely the same way including your brain are you still the same person no, absolutely not. Like you would be gone, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like teleportation, there's too many, you know, yeah, there's, yeah, there's too many variables unless it's, mm -hmm. I guess, what do they do in ha Harry Potter? They apparate. They apparate. Or unless it's the type of teleportation where you're just like going somewhere else really, really fast. In, ironically, the House of Night series, um, <laughs> one of the one of the literature. Yeah, one well, of the warriors, Darius, that's what he can do. And, mm. and it seems like teleporting, but he's actually just going, like, so fast. Mm, interesting. Mm. How would you feel about the ability to read someone's mind? No, 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 no. Because I, 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 I worry, like, on a daily basis, what if someone's reading my mind right now? I like, I'm like, I'm like yes. if you can hear this, do something, I'm like, doing this? No one's done it yet, but one day they might. Well, like, I get loads of, like, intrusive thoughts and stuff, right? And imagine if someone's overhearing them and then they're judging <laughs> you on something that's spontaneous and isn't your fault, you know? Like, like and, I get and stressed these, out. Like, spontaneous thoughts, like, or, like, intrusive thoughts where you're, like, you're walking past you, like, I could kick that kid. Like, that sort of thing. Um... Mine are always like like more on the painful side, and then like and they really really stress me out. Oh. Like I don't want to think about it too much because then I will get stressed. But uh, like I'll just be walking around and being normal, and then I'll get like the intrusive thought of, oh, imagine if this really painful thing happened to oh. you, really painfully. But it's like it's so vivid in oh, your mind, goodness. and you can't help it. And the more that you try to be like, no, I don't want to think about it, the worse your brain because it's your brain just like messing with you. You know, it's your brain kind of like gaslighting As you a little they bit. Do. Yeah. And brains. Or I get like the, um, or just the ones where it's like, <laughs> oh, what if this car crashed right now? How would I escape that? What if this train crashed? Um, Blah, blah, blah. Like those kind of weird intrusive thoughts that you just, you have no control over. Um, But if you don't nip them in the butt, they're really stressful. I sometimes like to do the like, um, okay, if a zombie apocalypse hit now and I was right here, what would I do? and like figure out like you know if I'm in like a shop or a library or a yeah. bar I'm like what would I do from right here to survive the zombie apocalypse yeah that's fun see I don't mind them they're fun scenarios to like have a sit and think about you know? yeah yeah they're good I wouldn't call them intrusive but yeah no I don't think I'd want to read other people's thoughts when I was younger I did like I really struggled to like read people's like faces and like understand tone and stuff like that so I thought if mm. I could just see what they were thinking I'd understand them a lot better but I've kind of taught myself to pick up on that stuff a lot more now so I don't think I need it still want to do the time stopping thing though and that would be really good yeah. I think the time stopping thing is probably the strongest one actually as long as you also stop aging yeah but yeah. then if you're not aging how is your 
how's your brain creating memories and taking on? Do you know? What? No, that's too deep. That's too deep. Time stopping it is. <laughs> the ability to stop time is the best one. All right. What's our next question? I'm enjoying these. Not bad, AI. They're fun, aren't they? And it was it wasn't Chat GPT because you have to have an account for that now. It was Bing. Bing have like a little AI bot where you can ask hmm. it stuff and yeah. Okay. Feel about that. Yeah. What if you could travel back in time to any era? Would you choose to visit ancient Rome, the Wild West, or the Roaring Twenties? What would you pick? Basically, all of them screwed over women, didn't they? <laughs> oh yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. I don't gotta be think careful it would be of. very safe for us to go back to any time. <laughs> if anything, maybe if we could go forward a yeah. thousand years. Yeah. I feel like that question is great for a man. Yeah. <laughs> you know? You could be like, oh, I, I'd go back to ancient Egypt. I'd see them building the pyramids. Like, yeah, great. A man could probably do that. He could pl- claim to be like some royal or something and get like, great treatment a woman we'd probably be sold into sex slavery at any point in history ah ancient egypt um i think was quite progressive when it came to the genders but you're oh, right you the, okay there then yeah the and i would love to go to ancient Egypt, mm. but like yeah. the gender time travel gap is very mm. real yeah but, okay, like, um a viking village well actually no maybe not a viking village but like if you were in a village that vikings then invaded We'd probably be raped a lot. Yes. So you'd have to be really careful, especially if you're on your own. You know? I've seen, I've seen, like, I've seen women online say that if we get into an apocalypse scenario, like a nuclear Armageddon, or just we're in a wasteland mm-hmm. or whatever, I've seen like women say that they're just going to choose to not be here anymore because they say yeah. like the first group of people that gets. I'm pressed. It's going to be women. I do agree, but I have main character syndrome, so obviously, um, obviously I would be. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'd be the king of the raiders. Um, no man would mess with me. And yeah, yeah. yeah, fight back, protect women. Like, okay, protect me, please. <laughs> I'm small and weak. I feel like so. Like ancient Greece would not be a good time period. Um, Rome was was like a bit like quite a bit more progressive than Greece. Mm. But still ancient not. Egypt, ancient Egypt. I think like women could. Um, I don't. I I, li- I listened mm. to some podcasts about this recently, but I don't want like someone in the comments to be like, actually, that's not true. But I'm sure that women could um, like start their own businesses or like own like exactly. land and that kind of thing. But personally, I would want to go right back to the beginning, ancient Mesopotamia, mm-hmm. to find out Enki and Enlil, the gods that walked amongst humans, were they reptilians? That's my number one concern. I will hide. I'll just hide in the bushes or I'll just like shave my head and yeah, make myself a bit more masculine <laughs> and just print, like like li- deepen my voice and live as a dude. But I have to find out. Was it aliens? <laughs> Probably yes. I mean, like in a world where we've got time travel where you can go back and check that, things were probably done by aliens. So yes. Hmm. Yeah. I think the worst place well actually no, where would be the worst place to go back to? Most of them. Yeah. Maybe like um where was Genghis Khan doing all his killing and raping? Wasn't that across China? Yeah, you wouldn't want to go there in that time period, would you? No. No. You wouldn't want to do like Tudor England either, because if you're rich, you're gonna be married off for money. If you're poor, you're oh. gonna be stuck in farms and factories and crap and peeing in a bucket and everyone's all the rich people's teeth were rotten yeah and chances are you'll probably have to sell your teeth to them at some point sell your hair all of that yeah oh wouldn't be nice yeah this question just isn't very good for women (laughs) that's funny that's (laughs) who would have thought it funny Mm. um are there any time periods where you would be as safe as you are now oh my god i don't know there 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 must be some there must be some but we just maybe aren't i'm not educated on world history maybe, maybe it's like kind of there what's wrong with you tonight 
Yeah. Maybe it's like the 1400s on some like tiny island in the middle of the ocean where women were like treated as gods. You know, mm-hmm. let's go back to there. <laughs> what do you say? You want to go back to when wolves ruled. Yeah. So you could tell me what to do. Is that right? If you're a man, other than Mesopotamia, where would you go to? If I was a bloke, yeah. if I was a, things are still, things were still a little bit bad for men back then, though, because you know, mm. if you were in like pre-Jesus times and you got caught yeah. up in a war, you had to go fight. Tough. Yeah. yeah. Um. I also kind of think. If we go back in time, do we get to choose the place? Or are we going back to, like, where we are now, like, in our family history, for example? So if I said, okay, I'm going to go back to, like, the 1600s, would I still be, like, in my family? Do you know what I mean? I think you can choose to visit, but that is interesting, though, because, like, like, there's there's a side of... I'd be screwed. My entire family back to, like, the 1600s has just been in Yorkshire. Well, there's a side of my family that like no one has any idea about. Serial killers? No, <laughs> no, just like just like on my mum's side. So, but I done I done those DNA tests, right? So yeah. I'd either be in England or I guess I'd be in Pakistan. But a couple hundred years ago, mm-hmm. one of the two. It'd either be Europe yeah. or you'd definitely learn something about your family at least. Southeast Asia. I would be yeah. in Yorkshire. The village is up in the air, but definitely South Yorkshire. <laughs> but is it Silkston or Silkston Common? Is it Peniston or Oxpring? Pretty pretty wild to think about the possibilities. All of those places that were within walking distance from each other. Wow, you'd have like the whole world would be your oyster. I know. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't go back in time. Forward would be good though. I'd go forward. Yeah. Oh, no, if I was a bloke and I could go back in time, I think I would pick ancient Greece, but Athens, so I could listen to Plato and all those people yap. Mm. Just, just listen to them yap, yeah. see what they were on about. Also, just everyone was sleeping with everyone, which could have been fun. Ooh, ooh, no. <laughs> ooh. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> What if you could switch lives with anyone for a day? Who would you choose to slip, switch lives with, and what would you do? Like, who is have you have you in your mind anyone that does it have to be someone currently living, like a specific person? Come on, Bing, I think, give I, us more information. <laughs> I th- I think it would be present day. Okay. Hmm. Definitely a man, because I'd want to mm-hmm. see how it's different for men. Mm-hmm. And probably someone with a very, very different life to me. So probably someone like filthy rich, just Mm -hmm. to like see what they do. But not someone with a boring job. Prince Andrew. (gasps) Really? No, you. (laughs) Not me. A man. You want to see what it's like for them. Someone who's not boring. Not got a boring job. Prince Prince Andrew, because then you would know, did he do it? And did. by did he do it? I don't mean any nonce allegations. I mean the six bodies that he said us. I'm, jo- I'm joking. Um, um, but wouldn't that be interesting? Someone super controversial. <gasps> oh no, I've just I just thought of a pair of people, but I don't think I could say their names. But super controversial, and you would you'd you'd finally know did they do the controversial thing or the crime? I just thought of two people. I'm not going right. to say their names. I'm not going to invite that drama in, into my life. But, did you they... this, but can I ask, are you thinking of the McCann parents? <laughs> All I'm going to say is, did they do it in Portugal? <laughs> oh. See, yeah. if, oh, if I want to know that, I would go with John Benet Ramsey's dad. John Ramsey. I... Oh, oh John yeah. Ramsey. That's like that's why this is so fun to do this with someone else because I did read the Switch Lives for Vamoff one day and mm. I thought immediately of, you know, I thought immediately of, I do wonder what like Tana Mojo's life is actually like. That would be interesting. But doing this with someone else, come straight in with <laughs> oh the, be- the oh god oh god. I don't want anyone having a go. I feel like that's a very normal thing to just ponder about. All right, I don't yeah. want anyone having a go at me. I didn't leave my yeah. kids alone whilst I was out having tapas. So, well, here's the thing: like, are we just experiencing their life for the day, or do we get all their past memories? Because if we get the memories, then definitely someone like that. I'd go with John Ramsey, definitely. 
Or if if you were just being them for a day and you don't have their past memories, um, maybe you'd be able to infer it, you know, from the people mm. around you or if there was an accomplice or, yeah. you know, but well, something where it's like there's case, a mystery. No, no memories. I would be Burke Ramsey, the brother. And I'd be like, hey, dad, remember that time I uh, killed my sister? And then wait to see his reaction and then I could tell if he did it or not. I don't think Bing's AI intended this question to get this dark. But it's true. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, sorry, gone. I just had no idea. This this name might not mean anything to you. Bob Lazar. Have you heard of him? No. So Bob Lazar, he's been on lots of UFO shows, of course, of course. Um, But... He claims that he worked at Area 51 during either the 80s or 90s and he worked on reverse engineering a UFO um, and he had a degree in nuclear physics or nuclear science or something like that. Um, And he came out and said this in like the 90s. And then if you try and look up a record of his degree that he says he has, his diploma, you can't find it anywhere. And he says it's because the government like deleted it from their files to discredit him. (laughs) But if I was Bob Lazar, I would know whether I actually worked on a, yeah. you know, because some people believe, believe him, some people don't. To be honest, he's quite like a mild mannered, like quite. He's he's not like I'll watch a lot of ancient aliens. He's not like some of the yeah. people you get, you know. Um, but I would know. Mm, see, that's good. I would, if we had the memories, go for someone like um, how how do you say their name? Like a, a Ghislaine Maxwell. Ghislaine, yeah, yeah, and then like you can do that out all these absolute pedophiles and creeps like in one day as many as you can because you've got all this knowledge then just go back to being you and she's like screwed over i think that's the best answer how good would that be (gasps) wait wait prince charles Mm. what really happens diana no 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 the security the security guard who survived the car crash and came out the other security guard if you had the memories but yours would be better, like we all, yours would be like a net positive for the world because you've just outed <laughs> like hundreds of high profile um naughty people. So <laughs> yours is pro- I think your your answer is the winner. <laughs> uh if I could switch bodies to the one for a day, I would just like out a bunch of bunch of nonsense. It'd be great. That's so that's so funny though, because it's meant to be like, oh, I don't know, the Queen, so I could see how like royalty live. No, Ghislaine Maxwell. So I could do the world a favor. <laughs> good. Look, if you've got a superpower, why not use it for good? I agree. Because you can, you know. I Although, think if I had a second one, John Ramsey, I'm still coming back to that. Mm. Yes, Bob Lazar, Bob Lazar, or Ghislaine Maxwell, or someone like that for me. I think let's end that one here. And we can pick up the rest of the questions in part two. And you'll have to, you know, subscribe and keep watching to have part two. Thank you very much, Rachel, for coming on to my Podmas. Make sure you check out her Mm -hmm. channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Spotify, iTunes. It's going to be five stars on Spotify. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye.